Hi friends, in this lecture we are going to design the half adder circuit. Basically adder circuits are divided into two types. First one is half adder circuit and second one is full adder circuit. So in this lecture we are going to design the half adder circuit. Half adder circuit is a combinational circuit which has two single bit inputs and two single bit outputs. From this information, we can draw the block diagram of half adder circuit and that block diagram we can see on the screen. So in this half adder circuit, we are having two single bit inputs A and D and we are having two single bit outputs sum and carry which is denoted by S and C. If we are having this information, we can draw the truth table as this is a combinational circuit in previous lecture we have discussed the designing of a combinational circuit. So that procedure we can apply here. The first step is we can plot the truth table for this half adder circuit. So the truth table is as we are having two number of inputs, we can have the maximum possible combinations of A and B are 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4. So in my truth table, I'm having four possible combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 by using arithmetic laws we can find out the sum and carry for every possible combination of a and b so when a is 0 and b is 0 my sum is 0 and carry is also 0 when a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 my sum will be 1 and carry is 0 when the next combination is there, A is 1 and B is 0, my sum is 1 and carry is 0. If A is 1 and B is 1, we are having sum 0 and carry 1. So we got the truth table for half adder circuit. Next step, to get the Boolean expression from this truth table, we are going to use the KMAP technique. So as we are having two outputs here sum and carry so definitely we will have two k maps one is for sum and another one is for carry and the pattern of the k map is decided by the number of inputs a and b as two number of inputs are there 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4 cell should be there in your k map for sum and carry so we can plot here the k map for sum and carry so these are the k maps which we plot for sum and carry and we write here a bar a b bar b and for carry also we are having a bar a and b bar b now we have to fill here the k map when we are going to fill the k map of sum we are going to observe the column of sum only so 0 1 1 0 we can fill into the k map of sum 0 1, 1 and 0. Same way, we are going to fill the KMF for carry by just observing the column of carry and that is 0, 0, 0, 1. So here, 0, 0, 0, 1. If we fill this, we will get the KMF like this. Now, as we plot the KMF and we fill the KMF, next step is we have to form the groups. Now here the single ones are there and it is not possible to form the group of two. So we have to make the group here of single ones and from these groups we can write down the expression. Now for this group we are having expression A bar B and for this group we are having expression A B bar. So we can write down the expression for sum is equal to A bar B and a b bar and this is nothing but a x or b so we got here the expression for sum which is a x or b same way we can form the group of carry here and only one is there so we can form here the group of one and we can write down the expression for carry is equal to a b so here we got the expression carry is equal to a b as we got the boolean expression the last step of the designing of combinational circuit is we can draw the 
logical diagram by using these expressions. As we are having two inputs A and B, we can get here A and B. To get the output sum, we are using here the XOR gate A, XOR B, we got here the sum. And to get the carry, we are having expression AB. So we have to use here the AND gate for A and B and we got here the carry.